hi guys welcome to another epic video whereby today i'll be sharing a euro chf setup that i shared with my vip group and in the free telegram group uh, i shared only the setup not the signal guys as i always say i share only setups in the free group and i share signals and setups in the vip group so be before we begin today's video i want to tell you guys that i'll be starting a crowdfunding uh, starting from 1 january whereby each and every participant can uh, join with about a thousand rand i think it's about 65 dollars and we think to be making a payout each and every month whereby each and every month each and every uh, participant will be getting a 5k and what i'm thinking to do on that uh, project is that i want each and everyone to get funded with mmf so i'll be making sure that each and everyone buys an account gets an account from that uh, crowdfunding and then another thing that i'll be doing is that i'll be teaching those uh, members who joined like the crowdfunding so that they can learn and make sure that they trade properly on that mmf account and i'll be helping each and every one of you don't worry guys relax and if you want to know more about that crowdfunding you can just use the link in the description below to contact me there are my contacts in the description below and i'll be making a group whereby everything will be made private and then the crowdfunding account the crowdfunding details will be shared in the group so if you want to check up on that crowdfunding account you'll be able to check up on it each and every time you want to do that and then i think uh weekly will be a uh a, a a a high target for me guys just because we are not gambling we're trading so monthly will be a good thing for me to do and then yeah i'll see you on that crowdfunding and then let's get to uh today's video so this is a euro chf setup that i shared and then if you check on the daily chart that is where we got like our trade guys this is where we got our trade and then you can see that by looking left and then you'll see that this is an impulse and this is the larger corrective move and then it's very identical to this one that we, we have been trading this one here is identical to this one that we have been trading so uh what i was thinking is that if we get like a override at the lower time frames then we can take the entry of which we got like a pattern within a pattern at the lower time frame of which is this one here we got like this pattern within a pattern then if you want you can just say that this is a one two and then we expected the third touch here for us to get like those uh, nice selling opportunities so we didn't get like the selling opportunities uh, at the top of the structure of which it would have been nice for us to take like the entry at the top of the structure like this and then we are protected with the stop loss just above here so we didn't get that and then i always say that the market does whatever it wants it doesn't have to impress me for me to take any entry you just have to read between the lines for you to get an entry and then for you to uh, get nice entries you just have to have the skill guys of which is important and then it's still 500 of which it's 28 dollars lifetime so um this is the entry that we took as you can see this is the ascending channel that i was talking about here and then we have touches at this point here the left shoulder and then this could be the head and then this is the right shoulder and then another thing that you must focus guys on is that the right shoulder always tends to push a little higher before it commits to itself as you can see here it pushed a little bit higher and then it tried to take us out uh, with a stop loss but like the stop loss was calculated guys the stop loss was very very much calculated and then there's much to it to calculating like your stop loss and all of that stuff and then another thing that i can just show you uh, for example is that we have a nice order block at this point here and then we have this imbalance at this point here and then this is why uh, we didn't get to that order block just because we have this imbalance we already filled the imbalance and then you can just say that we also have a fair value gap at this point here so there's a lot going on here guys like there's a lot going on i uh, don't only uh, look at the market with only patterns i do a lot of uh, research i do a lot of analyzing and make sure that everything is stacked in my favor before i take any entry so so far we are at about uh, let me just check at some point we are at about 3.7 percent so now we are tracing back we are at about 2.41 percent and of which it's okay just because i know that 
this is a break of structure at this point here we broke the structure here so we are going to uh, get to some point here where there is an order block and still continue to the downside so let me check the 15 minute so on the 15 minute we already have like some type of an order block at this point here as you can see there is a lot of momentum here that stopped a little bit so there is an order block at this point and even if you go to the 15 minute you'll see that there is an order block around here so guys uh, there's a lot going on there's a lot going on there's a lot that i do that i don't share with you guys but like yeah let me just show you around here this is the last candle that broke structure at this point here yeah. so what i'm currently thinking is that the market can just come and mitigate this area here and then we can continue to push to the downside and then as you can see we have lower lows this is a lower low here of which it was broken this is also a lower low this is also a lower low higher low here and a higher low at this point here and then another higher low that will be made around here to create a new lower low at this point here so guys uh, that's how like i analyze the market i don't just analyze uh, with uh, only patterns there's a lot that i do then let's switch back to the hour chart so on the hour this is what we currently have and then we're expecting the market to push to the downside up until this point here of which it's about 12 percent and then knowing that now we have our break even on of which even if the market decides to push to the upside up until this point or maybe get to that double top area around there and then we have a nice double top before we push to the downside we are still protected we we get tagged out maybe uh, at break even and some of the guys maybe took uh some partial profits and then yeah i'll see you on another video guys don't forget we have a crowdfunding that will be going on and then i think uh we can take maybe a minimum of 800 people and uh the vip group is still 500 up until january guys so i'll see you on another video it's a boy Bradley madaum peace out